Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. So this video is going to be a little different. Now usually I make the video, put all the clips together, make it all smooth, looking nice, and then I do the commentary. And because the clips are already set timed and the video is complete, it doesn't leave me much room to just go with a joke or go with a little bit of narrative I'm commentating at the time so uh it's it's very small informative stuff but this video i'm basically gonna just do the commentary first and edit in afterwards because i, ju I just want this commentary to be more sincere and not just edited and made to look pretty kind of thing um i want people to hear the feelings so to speak um so if you've seen the title and clicked epic have messaged me um yeah i'll admit that's to draw you in a little bit and yeah it did actually happen it's not actually clickbait technically you could say it's still clickbait because it's to draw you in but technically you could say it's not clickbait because it's still true there's so many different forms of clickbait but needless to say it did actually happen but that's not the only thing that has happened and I wanted to tell a little story because this is my thank you video and that also said that in the title so you can't hold me responsible for when you have to listen to this story if you just wanted to see the epic message you, you'll get to see that but you'll have to listen to me say thank you to a few people now it all started around four to five months ago when Tommy Novera um, tweeted out saying they're looking for a script writer for top five gaming and me wanting to get more into anything YouTube, I, I really want to make this a thing. The, and I believe I have skill in the field of YouTube in general. Um, I messaged, I, I sent a, pr tried to send a professional reply. Usually you got kids going, oh yeah, I'll have a job. I tried to be professional, obviously. Um, and gave some kind of background. Like I, I did a few reviews for GameSpot. Uh, back in the day of Skyrim and stuff and I studied philosophy at university so I felt I could be good at like either side of the argument like studying different weapons things like that good for the uh, script writing and sure enough he ended up messaging me it was a really nice surprise um, he was gonna trial me which fair enough you definitely trial people <laughs> that always helps and um, yeah, after a couple of weeks, the trials went really well and they were all really impressed with my work from what I gathered on my end. And it, it went pretty smoothly, um, to be honest. You think like interacting me as a small YouTuber, like a few days ago at 14,000 subscribers, like interacting with people in the millions, you think there's gonna be some kind of barrier between the two, but it, it's really not that at all it's um it was just really nice and I, f I found that with nearly every interaction i've had with a bigger youtuber it's been remarkable how nice everyone's been but um basically i got i got to know the team over a few months couple months and everything was going really nice things were just getting more and more smooth and they have been ever since and eventually tommy basically called me and I, I'd been speaking to the team before and we'd gotten to know you, how each other works. They'd ask questions about me, my setup, and I did every single thing on the PlayStation. I made my videos on the PlayStation, I uploaded from the PlayStation, I made on the PlayStation. It was just everything PlayStation. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I did on a computer was my thumbnails on a laptop on a free photo editing website. And they were basically like, dude, what you doing? Are you stupid? And I was just like, look, I, it's, I'm not, I can't imagine myself getting a PC. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> Tommy ended up calling me a little while later. And he was like, hey, I've been speaking to the team. And we, we see your potential and we kind of want to invest in you. Because um, we believe you definitely have potential in YouTube. And they bought me a starting pc and it's not like just a cheap pc it's a fairly freaking decent pc and uh like it does me absolutely fine i i don't think i need to upgrade for a very long time but i i, I couldn't believe it after years and years of playing games and doing youtube on 
console someone's seen my talent and gone here we're investing in you like that I, you have no idea how grateful i am for that um it's it's a, it for someone big youtubers it may be a small amount but they they still know how much they're changing someone's life um and that's what top five gaming that they were the catalyst for this um so yeah <laughs> moving on from top five gaming because there's a few things i've got to get on with um basically my dad david dean also is doing youtube and he started it as a form to get more in contact with me and my sister because I, I live in england my dad's american i'm english my sister's american so they play over there and my dad started youtube as a little way to for all of us to kind of interact together and he's smashed it he's over eighty thousand subscribers doing save the world and he he is such a role model to the save the world community um that uh, other save the world youtubers have noticed this they're working with him because he, he he is such a good role model um but yeah he, he is smashing it and i'm gonna start on my outros leaving links to their youtube channels on my outro so you'll be able to click them as well uh, once i've got their permission because i'm going to put a photo up of us all um but yeah uh also a lot of people asking why we have different accents it's a very long story and it involves how my dad and my dad's side of the family including my sister how i found them when they never knew that i not sure if i even existed so if, if you want that story i'll have to have a personal discussion with them because i want to respect that their, their uh, side of it as well like there was nothing wrong at all um i just want to speak to them and make sure they're comfortable with the story being told but yeah so if you want to hear that story let me know in the comments moving on third story um sounded like drama alert uh <laughs> basically um recently creative has come out and i created this massive pinball machine map and it kicked off i put it on reddit and it has kicked off massively so first of all I got a message from a YouTuber, a massive YouTuber, called Craner, and Craner does Fortnite, and he does a lot of videos surrounding mini games and stuff. And he saw my build, and he basically, we got into a conversation about me possibly. He's going to commission me to build maps for him to have these mini games on and play fight on and he introduced me to a few other youtubers including nico vald and runic titan and sun sunday and sunday sunday sorry sunday and craner have both commissioned me to build maps for them and all, all four of them are like battling out on it and I, I i get to be in their videos which is an amazing opportunity for me i just need to make sure i get that better quality stuff and i can assure you they are paying me enough to sort myself out um through top five gaming and these content creators that want my map building skills i'm definitely going to be able to boost my channel and this channel is going to go in a massive direction very soon and i i just really hope i can keep up with the work and determination that i have in mind um it's all down to that it's down to my own determination whether this goes off or whether it stays flat <laughs> but yeah also epic messaged me so basically um you've listened to me thanking people and i'm sorry that you did listen through the whole video if you just wanted to hear this bit but the i i wanted my thanks to be sincere these, these people like just everyone in the comments just type thank you sunday thank you craner thank you david dean thank you novera thank you sam thank you top five gaming these people like if i was more emotional i'd probably cry i'm not gonna lie but years of defensive have made that breakdown to like maybe a once a year breakdown like in my own little corner somewhere but no <laughs> these people have seriously like changed things for me and that yeah i i just can't be thankful enough 
But um, basically, Epic messaged me, some, a designer from Epic messaged me and said, hey, we really like your pinball map. Um, we, we'd basically like to feature it. Uh, not feature, they said they'd like to give me publishing abilities. So as a low subscriber, as a low content creator, I don't have many subscribers. Um, I don't have special permissions that a lot of big YouTubers and trusted YouTubers have. And But because of my work, Epic messaged me and they said they would give me publishing permissions and they would give me a, a supporter creator code. I get my own supporter creator code, which I have to sort some stuff out at home with taxes and stuff first, and then I can get my code up and running for you guys. But yeah, they've basically, they've given me ability to publish any map I make. And obviously I'm not going to joke around with that they've given me special permissions i'm gonna hold that responsibility like freaking spider-man all right i am not messing around with that um so yeah i'm only gonna publish decent maps but I've, I've published four which you can all find on my twitter i'm gonna keep my map codes all on my twitter you can check there um and yes they featured my map Fortnite have featured my map. The second week creative is out, there's the four featured maps in the middle. And mine is in the second week for a whole week running. That is my map right there. How, come on guys, so much has happened. But uh, I'll leave it there. I, ho I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, uh, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications. Every, every little thing you do helps my channel. And it also helps this video get uprated. And more people can see just how amazing these other YouTubers are that have just changed my life. But yeah, thank you very much.